How much weight can a 2x4 support, you ask? Well, it's one of those how long is a piece of string questions because it really depends on a few factors. We're talking about the orientation of the 2x4, the length of the span, the type of wood, and whether the load is static or dynamic. When a 2x4 is standing vertically like in a wall, it can support a heck of a lot more weight than when it's lying flat. In technical terms, vertical orientation allows it to have a greater compressive strength. Scientists and builders refer to it with this cool term, axial load. Now, if you've got a static load, like a roof pressing down, that's a different scenario than dynamic loads. Dynamic loads move and shake. They can be from wind or, in my Portland, Oregon, neck of the woods, the occasional tremble of the earth reminding us that tectonic plates are a thing. Let's deal in averages to give you a ballpark answer. On average, a 2x4 can support around 1,000 pounds vertically. If you lay it flat, it's going to be a lot less because the moment of inertia is much lower in this position. The forces have an easier time twisting and buckling that piece of wood. And let's talk about span. The longer the 2x4, the less weight it can support. Imagine a 2x4 that spans 6 feet between two supports. It can probably handle something around 50 pounds. Push that span to 8 feet, and that ability can be cut in half. And wood type matters. Knots, cracks, the grain of the wood all play their part. For example, Douglas fir, one of the strong breeds of wood we have here in Oregon, is going to be tougher than, say, a white pine. Also, there's this thing about live load versus dead load. Dead load means it's static, like the aforementioned roof. Live load refers to moving stuff or stuff that might move, like people walking around or a bear deciding to practice its balancing act on your 2x4 structure. Now, if you're planning on doing any building or loading a 2x4 with weight, I'd say get an engineer's opinion. They can break down the specifics using fancy calculations and make sure that your 2x4 serves its purpose without meeting a catastrophic demise. Safety is always the priority. And that's it. A little lumber 101 for you. Whether you're building a bookshelf or constructing a cabin, respecting the limits of your materials is key. And when in doubt, beef it up. It's better to be looking at it rather than looking for it, as the wise old carpenters say.